Assalamu alaikum, my dear respected student. Today we are going to discuss the acidity of uh, carboxylic acid. And when we compare the carboxylic acid with some derivative, how acidity affects. Let's begin. If we look at the structure of carboxylic acid, this H is, uh, is somehow very much uh, acidic in nature. And its pKa or the dissociation constant is actually in between 4 to 5. Now, when we compare the acidity of this carboxylic acid with water, which is around 16, so this uh, uh, carboxylic acid proton is much acidic. Or when we compare with the, the carbonic acid, which is having the pKa7, or with the HF, uh, of course, uh, we can see this is less basic, uh, less acidic with HF, but more acidic with uh, when, when compared with the carbonic acid. What is the reason behind this? Let's just start and let's discuss. Uh, when we compare the acidity of organic compounds, we compare the stability of their conjugate bases. The more stable the conjugate base, the stronger the acid. See, in these two specific examples, we have the two carbon chain acidic acid and two carbon chain alcohol, which is ethanol. The dissociation constant of this acidic acid is 4.75 and uh, the dissociation constant of this ethanol is 16. So what is the reason behind this? Uh, I will show you with some reaction of uh, reason behind the more acidic character of uh, uh, carboxylic acid when we compare with the uh, same carbon chain containing alcohol. <clears throat> Let's see. If this acidic acid or the uh, carboxylic acid treated with the, the, the water molecule, the water molecule captures the proton and will give you ultimately this uh, the, um, the carboxylate or the base conjugate base P1 along with the hydronium ion, right? And uh, uh, similarly, this alcohol when treated with water, water will capture the proton. Of course, these reactions are reversible and they favor the product rather than the uh, they, they favor the reactant side rather than the product side. So, in this case, we have the conjugate base B, which is the ethoxide ion and the hydronium ion. Now, see the structure of this conjugate base B1 and conjugate base B2. You can see here the conjugate base B1 is more stable and the anion is more delocalized than the B2 due to the resonance destabilization. So this is the reason that thus uh, the A1 acid is stronger acid than A2 because of the conjugate base form because of the resonance stabilization, resonance stabilization, right? Now, student, you can uh, predict that among these three uh, compounds, one is the uh, benzoic acid, other one is the phenol, and the, the third one is the cyclohexanol. Which one do we think is more acidic in nature? So the, uh, the answer will be, of course, the benzoic acid because of the more resonance uh, stabilized conjugate base. And the phenol uh, having the pKa around 10, which is uh, not too much acidic when we compared with this the benzoic acid. And of course, cyclohexane not have the resonance stabilized conjugate base. So it is uh, not too much acidic, it is more rather than more basic. See some more uh, comparison of the acidic character of the carboxylic acid. The group attached with the alpha carbon. If these groups are electron withdrawing, of course, the acidic character of the carboxylic acid will be increased. And if this alpha carbon, which is near to the carbonyl of the carboxylic acid, having electron donating group, so the acidic character of this carboxylic acid will be decreased. In these specific examples, this is the trichloroacetic acid, and this one is the dichloroacetic acid, and this is the chloroacetic acid, and this is the simple acetic acid, or we can say the ethanoic acid. See, the dissociation constant of this carboxylic acid is 4.76 when we compared with the trichloroacetic acid. How much time it is basically too much acidic. And we know that the lower the pKa, the stronger the acid, because these electron withdrawing group, they are making this carbon more uh, the electron deficient. Thus, this proton become more acidic. Okay. This is 
the conjugate structure of uh, after removing this proton of this trichloroacetic acid and the three group the three electron withdrawing group they are just attracting the electron and making this carbon uh, carbon more reactive here in this case only two groups they are just uh, electron withdrawing from this carbon carbon while in this case only one uh, chlorine group uh, withdrawing the electron from this carbon carbon and here there is no group who is withdrawing the uh, electron from this carbon carbon so that is the reason that this is the uh, less stable and this is the more so this is the uh, more uh, stable uh, carboxylic acid derivatives here i'm just comparing comparing with three structures uh, of the similar carbon chain but different position of the halogen in this is a specific example we have the butanoic acid and the chlorine attached at carbon number two so just look at the pka 2.85 you know? here we have uh, uh, again the butanoic acid but the chlorine attached at carbon number three it is two chlorobutanoic acid and here we have the three chlorobutanoic acid look at the pka it's 2.85 and now it is 4.05 uh, this is um, uh, too much acidic and this is the uh, less acidic just because this electron withdrawing group very near to the carbonyl group here electron withdrawing group uh, slightly farther from the carbonyl group so if this carbonyl group uh, even more farther to this carbonyl group so it will be uh, again less acidic as compared to this uh, carboxylic acid derivative just because it cannot withdraw the electron of this uh, carbonyl moiety uh, efficiently so this is how we can predict the acidic character of the carboxylic acid and its derivative that's all for the um, acidity of carboxylic acid